Hello, I am Stefana Scott and I love colorful things. So I am here to show you how to incorporate vivid braiding hair into your client's styles. Whether you have a client that wants to try a fashion color but is hesitant or non-committal, or you just want to add a pop of color to those social media pictures. Today I am going to show you my technique for large box braids. I'm going to be using this beautiful purple braiding hair that I purchased off of Amazon. I'll leave all that down below in the description box because I encourage you to try this out in your salon. And whenever you do decide to take on this challenge, I challenge you to try this. Uh, tag me, mention me, at me, or simply just inbox me your results or any questions you might have that will pop up later on in the video. Before I get started with the actual style, I'm just going to run you through how I prepped Stacy here. <laughs> I first went in and washed and conditioned her hair. I used the Matrix Total Results Moisture Me Rich Shampoo and Conditioner. I used this because if it was a real client, I want to make sure that the hair stays moisturized and rich while it stays in the style because with the box braids, you can leave them in from anywhere to a day, two weeks to two months. So I want to make sure as long as her hair stays in that style that everything is safe, clean, and moisturized. Then after the wash, I went in with Matrix Total Results Miracle Creator. I love to use this product to go in and just brush through and detangle anything. It's also perfect as a leave-in treatment because again, she's gonna be leaving that up for a while. So I wanna make sure whenever she does decide to take her hair down, that she's gonna have the same or even better integrity because of this product. It's great. After the Miracle Creator, I went in with Matrix Total Results Mega Sleek Blowdown Cream. It is perfect as a heat protectant to hydrate and nourish the hair as I blow dry. And that's exactly what I did with Stacy here. I ran all that through and I blow, dry, blow dried her to 100%. And now we're ready to start sectioning. I did move you in a little closer. I want to say before we get started with that that I am going in with a rat tail comb or foiling comb. I am also using black rubber bands because once we get those nice boxes, we're gonna go ahead and secure them with rubber bands. Got a couple of clips here just to keep everything nice and sectioned apart. And then I also will be going in with this Cream of Nature Argan Oil edge control that's going to keep all the straight and flyaway pieces in their place. That's what we want. So I'm going in with this around the sectioning. So let's get into it. So first we're just going to separate the back and the front. We're going to do that by starting from the top of the ear to the crown to the other top of the ear on the other side. I got some clips handy. You want to make sure that your parts are nice and clean. That is what is going to make or break your box braid style. You just want to make sure that your lines are very clean. So check it, double check it, triple check it. Just make sure it's all nice. Top of the ear to the crown to the other ear on the other side. We're going to go ahead and start in the back. We're gonna make our first row by taking a horizontal parting from the occipital bone. That's pretty good. Now take this, clip it out of the way. Now we're gonna go in with our edge control. I'm gonna take that and put it right on the part. I love this Argon Oil Edge Control because as you can see it's like very sticky but it also has the oil in there so it's going to give me a high hold but while that uh, oil is going to penetrate her scalp and keep her scalp nice and moisturized. Don't be afraid to take your time with this part. Like I said this is what's going to make those box braids 
really proud of having those clean sections. Now that we have our first row here, we are going to go in and divide this into three boxes. And we want to make sure that the third box is nice and center before we secure it with a rubber band. Perfect. Again, using some of the edge control on my sections. And I'm going to do that all the way around. Tight through, secure that bad boy with a rubber band. You see how it creates us a nice little box for us. And a large one at that, mine or small, it's a technically small box braids, but we're doing large on her. So I'm going to continue to do that. Now we have our three boxes. Now we're going to move on to row two. We're going to take this remaining hair and do another horizontal parting right down the middle. So now we are ready for row two. And remember we took just a horizontal parting right in the middle of the remaining hair that we had for the back section. Now we're going to split this one into four. We are going to brick lay them down so they fill the spaces in between of our bottom row. That's going to, one, make the hair look more full, and it's also gonna be nice and laid for the client. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna split right in the middle of our boxes below it, right down the middle of that box. So that would be one, split it down the middle of that one two, and then down the middle of the third, four. So I'm going to do that now. We're going to go in with our edge control, continue to place that around the boxes, secure everything with rubber bands, and just make sure everything's nice and clean. Let's see, I don't like my line there. I'm going to go in and clean that up. We're going to take this last section here and then split this one in three according again to the brick lay. So we're going to go straight down the middle of this box, down the middle of this one, and that will just give us three nice large boxes. And those sitting right between the windows of the second row, just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and secure them. We have row one, row two, and row three. They lay nice and perfect between each other so it lays flat to the client's head. Now it's time to move on to the front. I'm going to use my top row two horizontal parting to connect that to the front to make our row one. So I'm going to follow this line here and bring that straight across. And that's just gonna be one braid right here in the front and we will repeat that on the other side. Now that I did that on both sides, we are gonna roll, move on to row two for the top section. So for row two, I'm going to be using our last line here in the third row of the back section and I am just gonna Turn that to make that more horizontal. So I'm going to take this line, make it horizontal, and go straight across to the front. All right, I'm going to perfect this and then repeat on the other side. And remember, we are brick laying just like we did in the back. So I'm going to be splitting row two into two large boxes, splitting it down the middle from row one. Now that we have that done, I am going to repeat the same thing on the other side for row two. So I just finished with all of the ponytails with the boxes everywhere. And for me, it lined up perfectly to where it's split right down the middle. It looks really cute. 
Stacy's got it going on. I believe we are ready to start braiding. So I went ahead and did a couple just so you can see what they're going to look like. Some people love to disguise and hide the natural hair from the beginning. But with this look and what I'm going for, I like to see the hair. What if you did an awesome balayage or a different vivid? And I want to see those colors in between with the purple. So I let that color show. And now I'm going to show you how to start one. So I have my pack of hair. And looking at the density of the box is what I'm going to pull from the braiding hair. So I'm going to pull about that much. Go ahead and pull that apart. Lay this off to the side. And I'm going to use what is called the two strand method where you have, you need three strands for a braid. I'm gonna use the two as the synthetic and make our third strand the natural hair. And then you just start braiding, okay? So I'm gonna go in right across the top here. And we're just gonna go ahead and just make sure we keep that nice and tight at the root. That's why I love that we use the rubber bands here to keep everything nice and tight. And then we're just gonna pull over and start crossing over doing a braid. Once you got that nice and tight, go ahead and keep working your way down. You want to make sure to keep the same density of hair on each strand throughout. So as you see me go down, I'll show you how to piggyback and grab some hair from the other sides to maintain that density on each strand. So right now, each strand is pretty much the same width, which is good, but I know once we get down to her ends, that starts to get really fine. So we're going to grab some hair from the color and add it to her natural hair section. Make sure you keep everything nice and detangled. If this braiding hair gets tangled, you are not gonna love it, so just make sure you Run your fingers through, make sure it's nice and detangled. I also like to keep a little bit of edge control on the back of my hand. Okay, so my camera died on me, so I'm using my phone now, but we're gonna get right back into this. So like I was doing before, we have our three strands. I'm gonna continue to braid that down. Grab a little edge control, wipe that on. Keep everything nice and sleek. As you can see, this one's a lot skinnier than the other two. So I am going to grab some from this section and I'm just gonna simply pull it over and add it to my piece here. And then make sure everything pull it tight and continue that break. And we're just gonna keep going, keep going down the shaft until we're braided all the way through to the end. I've noticed I got another piece that is really more skinny than the other two. So I'm gonna borrow from this big guy over here and I'm gonna take, take some of this, I'm gonna use that and bring it straight over straight over to my middle section and continue braiding and that's how you get your box braids look how beautiful that is and we have this gorgeous purple look at that all right so now that we got that i'll show you how to do one more and then we're just going to speed through and i'll show you the final results okay now we're really up close and personal i really want you to see uh, how we start these so I'm going to go in, I have my piece of hair. We're gonna use this as one, two, and three strands, and then we're just gonna start braiding. Make sure you keep, I kind of pull, make sure it's nice and tight at the root. Cross that over, and girl, just start braiding.
And I say practice does make perfect. Do not give up on that first try. It's going to be difficult. You're trying something new. Remember when balayages came out, half of us couldn't even say the word balayage? You got this. All right, so I'm gonna braid this all the way down. I'm gonna braid everything and I will be back to show you the end result. Okay, we are back. I just finished braiding all of her hair. Look at that. And I did find a different color of purple in my little inventory. And I used that on the front too here. Look at that little pop of color. I love it. It's so pretty. So I just finished braiding everything and just to finish this style off I am going to grab a pot of hot water and we're just going to dip everything in the hot water to seal the synthetic hair so we're going to go do that now just keep in mind while you're going in with that hot water to be cautious of where the water is you don't want to burn your client you just want to seal in that synthetic hair all done. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If there were any questions that came to mind, please let me know down in the comment section and let me know what you want to see next. I am here for you. Until next time, Stefana out. Bye.